Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Rockets hit near Lviv airport. Biden to warn Xi against backing Putin a euro, live. Summary of headline article. 503 on the topic of China. The Guardian's world affairs editor Julian Borger asks. Will it side with Russia and divide the world? A potential tipping point in China's role in the world may be underway as it decides how far to go. In backing Russia's war on Ukraine. The Americans came away from Rome more pessimistic than ever about Beijing intentions. There are lots of indications that the Chinese are doing more behind the scenes to support Russia. In every sector. Financially. Economically and militarily, one official said. Corporate leaders are also likely to reassess their business with China. Along with European governments. From the Independent under the main headline of a Euro Fire and Donor Euro T Rehiria Euro. P&O Ferries devastates its home port. Summary of headline article. But 800 crew were about to find out that their careers at P&O Ferries were over. What followed. At 11.10 a.m. Was a pre-recorded video of a P&O Ferries executive announcing their replacement. En masse. By a cheaper workforce. But Dover. Where P&O Ferries has its headquarters and main base. Has been most profoundly affected. Many sacked staff told me that working on board means living on board. With a degree of dedication and camaraderie that is rarely found on land. But P&O Ferries has given, business improvement, a new and extraordinarily harsh dimension. From the Independent under the main headline of Arnold Schwarzenegger opens up on Nazi father in. Passionate plea to Russians over war. Summary of headline article. Arnold Schwarzenegger has spoken out amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The actor. 74. Said. The strength and the heart of the Russian people have always inspired me. That is why I hope that you will let me tell you the truth about the war in Ukraine and what is happening there. When my father arrived in Leningrad, he was all pumped up on the lies of his government. When he left Leningrad, he was broken, physically and mentally. To the Russian soldiers listening to this broadcast, you already know much of the truth that I'm speaking. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Russians target Pretty Patel and Ben Wallace with fake video calls. Summary of headline article. Explaining how the call was set up. Mr. Wallace said. A government department referred me to a request for a phone call with the Ukrainian Prime Minister. A man I've never met before. Mr. Wallace said he terminated the call when the discussion turned to security matters. He said he believed those behind the hoax will selectively edit it and potentially release it to a Russian audience. They won't cover my thoughts about disparaging President Putin or what the Russians are doing in Ukraine is appalling. During two phone calls recorded by the pranksters. The Duke also claimed that Donald Trump, the former U.S. president, had blood on his hands. From the Independent under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe appears in First Family. Selfie. Summary of headline article. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has used the first day free from her six-year detention in Iran to raise awareness of another dual national being held in the country. Her MP has said. So lovely to have uplifting conversations with Richard and Nazanin today, the tweet said. They are both relentless in their pursuit of justice and raised the plight of Morad Tarbaz with me. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe gestures after landing at Raf Bryce Norton. Getty images. In a message shared online.
The family said, no place like home. Their release came after months of intensive diplomatic negotiations between the UK and Iran. From the Sun under the main headline of Russian pilot ignores signs saying, children, and bombs. Theater full of innocence. Summary of headline article. The pilot of a Russian aircraft who ignored warning signs saying, children, and bombed a theater. Full of innocence has been branded a monster by Ukraine. More than 1,000 women and children huddled for shelter in the theater building. Which was bombed on Wednesday. Experts say Putin has adopted devastating, siege and starve, tactics at Mariupol. Like those used against Russian city Leningrad by the Nazis in World War II. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said. Every Russian has lived or learned about the horrific siege. It's shameful. 3. The fate of the women and children who were in the theater is unclear. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Russian missiles have struck near Lviv Euro S airport. Says City Euro S Mayor. Summary of headline article. Are Russian missiles struck near the airport of Ukraine's western city of Lviv on Friday? Its mayor said. As Vladimir Putin continued his assault on the country. Plumes of smoke were seen rising over the city. Which has become a major hub for refugees fleeing the war. But Mayor Andriy Sadovy said the airport itself had not been attacked. He said several missiles struck an aircraft maintenance facility. Destroying buildings but causing no casualties. Earlier. Television station Ukraine 24 said at least three explosions had been heard in the city. In city after city. Hospitals. Schools and buildings where people sought safety from the bombardment have been attacked. From Evening Standard under the main headline of top Russian paratroop commander killed in Ukraine. Latest blow to Putin a Euro S war effort. Summary of headline article. ONE of Russia's top paratroop commanders has been killed in Ukraine in the latest blow to Vladimir. Putin's debilitating war effort. The death of Colonel Sergei Sukarev. Of the 331st Guards Parachute Assault Regiment from Kostroma. Was confirmed by State TV in Moscow. Commander of the Kostroma Airborne Regiment. Colonel Sergei Sukarev got lost in the military exercises, but returned home the right way, said the Ukrainian statement. They were among a number slain from the Kostroma regiment, seen as among Russia's most elite fighting forces. He is believed to have been killed fighting near Mariupol in a grad attack by Ukraine's Azov Battalion. From the sun under the main headline of Russian troops, shoot themselves in the legs to avoid fighting in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Russian soldiers are shooting themselves in the legs to avoid fighting in Ukraine. It is reported. Four Russian troops are shooting themselves in the legs to avoid fighting in Ukraine credit. A P-4 killing peaceful civilians has caused a collapse in morale of Putin's troops credit. A P I T follows a collapse in morale among Putin's forces after they were forced to kill peaceful civilians. It's not just to demilitarize Ukraine or defeat the armed forces of Ukraine. But now cities of peaceful civilians are being destroyed. And baby-faced Russian soldiers last week said they were sent to die like meat and blasted Putin as a criminal. Four captured Russian soldiers said they were sent into Ukraine to be killed, like meat, credit. Ukraine Form TV. From Mail Online under the main headline of Alex Brummer. It's deplorable that banks still won't help savers. Summary of headline article. Much of this money earns negligible returns of 0.1% and its ultimate value will be eroded by soaring inflation. 
What is without doubt is that mortgage lenders will lose no time in passing on the higher interest rate to borrowers. Some 7 out of 10 mortgage borrowers are protected from higher interest rates for the time being because they have negotiated fixed rates. Higher interest rates are intended over time to curb inflation. Nevertheless, the screeching change of direction on interest rates leaves the bank and Bailey looking embarrassingly out of step with events. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.